let's brew something. You want to brew something else? All right, I'm in. We can brew another deck. All right, what are we trying to play now? Give me some ideas, chat. Raja wants to brew something. Let's let's get some ideas cooking. What what are some what are some sweet ideas for a new deck? Mono Red Reveler. Okay, that's certainly an idea. Don't hate it. With Cleansing Wildfire. Ooh, okay, that's... That's interesting. Okay, that's one idea. I don't, I don't hate that idea. That's a very, very interesting sounding deck. We could certainly do that. How about some other ideas? So, we'll... And we'll do a vote, too when we get some some good ideas we'll come up with like three or four three or four different ideas and we'll do a vote <laughs> you already did it but maybe i can do better okay we'll see what happens i'll try so mono red reveler that's one idea All right, Mono Red Reveler. Idea number one. What do you guys think of like Abzan Midrange? Abzan Midrange, would that be interesting? Mono White Fiddlebender. Okay, that's a sweet idea too, actually. That's a really cool idea. Or Blue White Fiddlebender. Yeah, Blue White's probably better, right? Because we get like the, the one mana thing that lets us... Um, the one mana artifact that's basically a Springleaf Drum. Not as good as Springleaf Drum, but... Okay, mono, mono white, or yeah, white, blue white fiddlebender. Okay, that's an idea. Brass knuckles dot deck. Sedna, oh my. I don't know that we're going to do the brass knuckles dot deck, but that's also an idea. Is it in soul? Okay, with spice. That deck is legit a banger. The brass knuckles deck. I mean, I would believe it. I haven't played it before. It's very much not my kind of deck. All right. Uh, I need to remember how to do a vote on here again. I think I have to go manage poll. Yep, new poll. All right. Uh, what is our next deck going to be? Mono red reveler, blue red and soul, slash spice. Raja says we need spice, so we're going to put that there. Uh, Abzan mid. No, I'm also, I'm going to put, I'm actually going to put maybe, uh, what if we did like four color mid? What if we tried to fable siege rhino? I'm going to put four color in there, too. I have no idea if the mana is even remotely doable in that, but... You went 4080 with it and never played Pioneer again? That is hilarious. Fiddlebender. Uh, blue, white, fiddle, slash mono white, fiddle. All right, so so far we got Mono Red Reveler, Blue Red and Soul, Abzan or Four Color Midrange, Blue White Fiddlebender, Mono White Fiddlebender. We can put one more option in there. I would prefer it is not the Brass Knuckles deck. That one just doesn't, that deck just doesn't sound that fun to me. Like, I get that it, it does some really cool stuff and, it, and it's powerful, but I don't feel like we get to make a lot of decisions with that deck. Like, that deck just kind of plays itself and sometimes it works and does its thing and is really sweet and other times it just you know it just doesn't do what it needs to do and isn't really that exciting that's my opinion on it at least what about a deck with double digit planeswalkers oh yeah i'm in for that asper super friends maybe
maybe Orzov Super Friends. I don't know, I'm just going to put Super Friends. We don't need to figure out the colors yet. Super friends. Ten plus walkers. Ten or more. All right. I'm into that. That sounds fun. Okay, 10 plus walkers, uh, duration, we'll do a five minute vote here. All right, so those are going to be the five decks. Esper, no win con control. Oh my God, that is not a deck I should be playing on Moto, I promise you. I would gladly do something like that in paper, but oh man, we're going to lose the clock every round if I try to play a deck like that. All right, we're going to make the poll. Mono Red Reveler, Blue Red and Soul, Abzan or Four Color Midrange, uh, Blue White Fiddlebender, Mono White Fiddlebender, or Super Friends with 10 plus Planeswalkers, and we don't know the color combination yet. Poll is starting. All right, the poll should be up. All right, good, there it is. All right, I think while people vote, let me get a little more water. I'll be back. Am I allowed to vote too? am allowed to vote okay i'm not going i think i'll just let you guys vote though we'll let this be a chat only vote all right i'll be back There should also be a democracy option, a.k.a. pay channel points for extra votes. Ooh, okay. All right, set. No, that's a that's a really good idea, actually. Uh, how do I... We'll have to do that with a different poll. I would probably have to do it at the beginning. But that is a really good idea. I, I do like that. That's funny, and it, it gives people a good thing to do with their channel points. We'll do that in the future. It's actually only, I think, the second poll I've ever done. No, it, it's very funny, and it gives people a good thing to do with their points, right? Equating. you're not wrong <laughs> oh man what can I say I'm not uh, not very knowledgeable in the civics department funny funny story actually when I was in high school 
uh, I like tried to test out of civics and economics. I was just barely good enough to test out of economics and I failed the civics one big time because I just don't know anything about civics, which if you, if you talk to me like outside of, if you've interacted with me, you probably understand that I know nothing about civics at all. If you like talk to me about like civics, even like very basic stuff, I just don't know anything about how government actually works to be completely honest with you. Uh, but anyway, so I had to take civics because I couldn't test out of it. It was like an option I could do at my school over the summer. I could try testing out, and I, I failed the test. So then when I actually took the class, the, te the teacher was like one of the football coaches, and he just like – he was also a history teacher, I think, that just also taught civics. But he, he just like – he didn't – I swear to God, I didn't learn like anything in this class. He, he like every day we would watch the office for 30 minutes, which got me into a big office kick when I was in high school. I'd never seen the show before. And then the first episode we ever saw was like the, the one where Michael does the golden ticket promotion and just like gives that one company like 50% off the product or whatever. <laughs> Football coaches don't teach shit. Yeah, he he did not teach us very much other than I did learn that I really liked The Office. So, I mean, you know, it was pretty funny. But anyway, all we ever did was just, like, copy the questions at the end of the chapter. And then that was all we had to do any day. It's just absolutely hilarious. All right, we got to get some more votes in here, people. Oh, the poll ended. All right, well, I guess we're doing the Super Friends deck. The Office is definitely useful in life. I mean, it, it was for me. I watched it a lot. It certainly took up a lot of time in my life. Um, it's how it is at every school. That's fair, Raja, yeah. It was a sick metaphor on the education system. I hadn't considered that, but now that you mention it, you need to know what people are talking about when they quote the show. That's true, Zach. All right, so the brew is going to become walkers. We are going to play walkers. We're going to name it Super Friends. All right. Uh, so I assume we want Lily of the Veil in a walker deck, right? So the class itself was a teaching manual. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're just going to start throwing walkers in here, and we'll figure out which ones we want and don't want at some point. Uh, let me get off the other products there. Narset. So Narset is an option. We'll just go ahead and put every Narset down here. I don't even remember what, what this one even does. I remember it was like kind of good in standard. Top card, if it's a non-creature, non-land. Oh my god, if it reveals a walker, you put it in your hand? Let's go. Uh, you cast your next entry as sorcery. Gains rebound, and then your opponent can't cast non-creatures. Okay, interesting. This one, okay, adds mana for walkers. Okay, whatever. We're just, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna drag planes walkers down here. Oh, yeah, Interplanar Beacon for sure. Is this going to just end up being a Fires of Invention deck? Do we just play, like, uh, Fires of Invention Planeswalkers? That sounds kind of gas. We can do whatever we want with this. I mean, we there are a lot of ways we can go. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to drag Planeswalkers down here. And honestly, let's do this. This is probably much easier. I'm just going to type Planeswalker into this. And it should just give me all Planeswalkers, right? Or cards that deal with walkers, I guess. It's a little awkward. All right, let's go to only Pioneer. And then type Planeswalker. There we go. All right, Teferi, Sahili, Karn, Living Legacy. I don't think he'd be very good in here, but we'll bring him in anyway. Oh my god, we can't play more than one copy of any walker? Dude, that sounds hilarious. We could then play a Lutri deck, right? 
What if we played Lutri Walkers? And we have to be blue red, but that's kind of hilarious. Oh, we'll play spells. I mean, we're not going to. Let's just put. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out here. All right, we're going to go back to Planeswalker now. All right, this deck is going to be freaking hilarious. No idea how good it'll be, but it is going to be really funny. That is true, yeah. Yeah, 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 we could definitely do that. Uh, this makes all our walkers cheaper, so that's kind of funny. Are we Karth the Lion? No, this is, this is Pioneer, Zach. We can't play Karth the Lion here. Although we probably would play Karth if we could. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. All right, I'm just gonna just keep dragging Planeswalkers down here. We got that. If we're playing the, if we're playing Urza, we probably want to play a Might Stone as well. Uh, the Wandering Emperor is sick. Soren is sick. Kaito's sick. Fairy who slows the sunset. Probably good enough. I don't even know what this does. Target creature without first strike, double strike, or vigilance can't attack or block until your next turn. If the other plus one doesn't do anything. All right, this card seems terrible. Yeah, Obnix is good. Lolth is good. This guy is probably fine. There is also Sarkin. Yeah, you're not wrong. Sarkin is probably awesome in this deck. What does this thing do? All right, checks, instants, and sorceries. Not super thrilled by that. Oh, yeah, we'll get to Kazmina. We're coming up on Kazmina, I think. Or is this the one you're talking about? What does this do? Scry one. All right, we'll put it in here. I don't know that I like... I mean, right, right now we're five color. We'll just have to figure out what we want to do in a little bit, I guess. For now, we'll just keep dragging things in and... Are we playing green? I have no idea. I assume I would probably like to not play green, although if we play green, we get to play like Sylvan Carroted and Growth Spiral, which is interesting. <laughs> Said, all right, we'll put it in here. <laughs> uh, that's good. All right, well, what does this do? does not seem very good yeah probably won't be able to fit green you're probably not wrong we'll we'll take it out for now we'll take it out for now because it does look like we're gonna have plenty of playables we're also probably not gonna play red honestly i think esper is probably what we want to do just kind of looking at all the like all the the esper walkers are like pretty playable I think we're going to easily get to a playable deck if we, with Esper. Take it out for now. <laughs> yep. Just for now. Uh, Ashiok might be okay. It's not exciting, but it's a Planeswalker. We're going to put it in here. Oh, 
Oh, this Kazmina is good, right? That's fine. Probably going to put it in. We could also play Grixis and not play Esper. And then we could play Nicol Bolas, which would be kind of funny, but... already got in our set part of hills. Oops. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of good red walkers. That is true. Okay. So let's do that. I, we know we're not going to play this. Let's not lie to ourselves. Um, so Healy. What does this do? I don't know that that's very good. Jaya is not particularly impressive to me either. It might be okay though. Karn Cyan of Urza is going to be sweet. I guess the nice thing about going red, too, is there's a lot of good red removal, which we're just going to need a lot of random different removal spells. All right, I'm probably not playing that anymore. It's missing a lot of things. Uh, it's also missing uh, the the white six. The new the the new wanderer would be insane because it's like a planeswalker that sweeps the board, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Liliana the Last Hope is probably pretty legit actually. I like Lily the Last Hope, it's a good three mana planeswalker. Opnixilis is certainly good. God, our deck is going to have so many fives. It's ridiculous. That is true. Six mana Chandra to sweep the table is pretty cool. Drag him down. Uh, JVP kind of counts. He's a Planeswalker when he flips. We'll put him in the deck. Oh, yeah, we got to get the Kai out of here. That's true. Get out of here, Kaya. See you later. Oh, here's Sarkin. Oh, that's not the Sarkin we want, though. Although, I guess it, it's still a Planeswalker. We might just throw it in here, but... Oh, I forgot Ashiak Nightmare Weaver is a card, to be completely honest. That's funny. Lily of Veil should be in the three drop slot. It should be here. Yeah, we'll we'll find him eventually. Give me a sec here. Yeah, I think I think you're right. That does sound correct. How did I just miss him? He must have been more up here. Uh Chandra Torch is good. think we want Jaya to be honest oh this guy turns into a planeswalker right probably probably fits the uh if Jace fits then this fits this card's probably not actually good let me what does this do draw two put card bottom dog twice the number of cards in your hand. Yeah, we can probably do better than this. I'm just going to get that out of the deck. Um, all right, so we want the Chandra that sweeps. There's the Sarkin we want. There it is. All right, so this is 20 Planeswalkers. I feel like that's 
pretty pretty legit and then we probably just want to play a bunch of like cheap removal and sweepers and probably fires of invention Red Horde General. So you just don't want Professor Onyx. Sure. Definitely don't have to play Professor Onyx. Just threw it in there because it's a Planeswalker. Oh, Liliana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liliana Dread Horde General. That makes sense. Yep. I forgot all about this Planeswalker, I'm not going to lie. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That makes sense to me. I agree, because this thing, like, double edicts, right? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. What happened and what is happening? We are playing a Lutri Planeswalker deck. We've got 20 Planeswalkers in our deck right now, and they all obviously have to be one-ofs. Now we're going to figure out all our one-of removal spells we're going to play. And our Fires of Invention, which we're also going to play. As the awkward thing about this Nickel Bolas, I will say, is if we are playing an Interplanar Beacon deck, although we only get to play one beacon, right? Doesn't this... Oh, no, you can play four of lands. I didn't realize that. You think Kazmina is ass. All right, we don't have to play it. What does this one do again? I don't even... Target creature, Planeswalker, two more, make it 2-2. Two, two. Okay, sure. Okay. I mean, we probably should cut some of these five-mana Planeswalkers, too, for being... For being realistic with ourselves, Liliana Vess is maybe a little, little suspect. It's a pretty good magic card. It's just a little slow. Yeah. At least Obnixilis, though, is just like a five-mana murder and then draws us a bunch of cards. I think it's okay. I don't know. It might be bad. This deck is missing Ugin. Well, we could play an eight-drop Planeswalker if we really wanted to. It is an option that we have. I feel like eight mana walker is, is a little much. A little much. But, I mean, we could do it. I'm going to cut the vests. I feel like this is just a little too much. All right, now we're going to put a bunch of oaths in our deck. Okay. Oh, man. I forgot about Oath of Teferi. Are we sure this shouldn't be Esper? Oath of Teferi would be freaking awesome. All right, well, Oath of Liliana, that's coming in. Oath of Chandra. Oath of Jace do again. Draw three cards and discard two. Scry X for the X's number of planeswalkers you control. Little derpy. I don't know that I want to play that one, but I really like Oath of Liliana and Oath of Chandra. That's alright. We'll we'll keep it Grixis for now. Alright. Uh, Fires of Invention. 
feel like it's quite a good fires deck. Ooh, fires of victory actually is not that bad either. Yeah, definitely gonna play one of these. Fires of invention. Dude Rhinos. Thank you very much for the follow, dude. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Genocide. Let's just jam Karn Scion too while we're at it. Oh, man. We've got Karn. He's right here. He's already in the deck, man. Already way ahead of you here. Dreadbore. Yep, I agree. We are going to play board wipes for sure. We're going to play Anger of the Gods. Fly MTG. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anger of the Gods. Uh, Ritual of Soot. Seems solid. Um, Crux of Fate, maybe, I guess? Genocide. Oh, come on, Genocide. This is going to be fun, man. Get out of here. This is going to be great. Bone Crusher. All right. Push. Exactly what you were thinking. All right. Fair. Push. Blood Chief's Thirst. A Braid. That goes right there. I don't really understand why that just... Do that. Blood Chief's Thirst, Fatal Push. Got an Anger. Brotherhood's End is a little bit awkward because it deals damage to walkers, but I still might want it anyway. Uh, we'll play an Extinction event. Don't play the Planeswalker Sweeper. All right, fine, fine, fine. Is there another... Th what if we play... Do you think we get away with Bantu's Last Reckoning? If we have a Fires, we don't even care if we untap our lands, but it's only a one-of, obviously, so... We're going to play Thought Seize. We probably main deck a Despise and a Duress in this deck as well. The Elder Spell. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm into that. Three mana Ashiok. Fly MTG. We definitely could play three mana Ashiok. All right, why not? Really good if we play against green. I don't think it's great against much. I guess it's good against control, too, honestly. It's like a very annoying card. I wonder if we should play like a Chromatic Lantern. Helps ramp us into our fives and gives us perfect mana. I kind of like it. My issue is right now we just don't have enough cheap plays. We're just going to get run over by like mono white and stuff. which scares me. So we probably need to cut some of these planeswalkers.
Master of Time kind of sucks. We could probably cut him. Don't think that one is particularly good. Is there another good one mana removal spell? There's not really, right? Yogmoth's Bile Offering. I forgot about this card. I totally forgot about this card. Yeah, we could try this. Flame Bless Bolt. Yep, that's a one mana removal spell. I'm into that. Disfigure is also a card, right? Flame sweep, yeah, that's kind. Of, oh, radiant flames. Radiant flames is pretty sick, right? Let's play some radiant flames. The shitty one that I hate that kills power toughness less than five. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut down. Cut down. Cut down should be in here. You're right. Come back from work meeting and lunch, Lutri. It's Lutri Walkers, Stormy. Lutri Planeswalkers. Okay. I think I'm going to play Disfigure as well, to be honest. Um, we need to just... I think we need to trim some of these. We just still have way too many walkers. Like, I, we said we were going to do 10 plus. We don't need to do 20. J, JVP and Bolas pretty much count as walkers, too. So, we can definitely cut a few of these still. Um, let's look at these huge ones. Do we really want Dreadward General? Is this a real card, or should we just say screw this? This is so much mana. I kind of like the Awakened Inferno because it can kill everything. It can come down and sweep the table, but Dreadward General might be a little much. I'm going to cut Dreadward General. Soren the Mirthless is pretty terrible in this deck, too. When you think about it, we're going to plus and take five half the time. So you like Awakened Inferno in the board, too? Okay, that's fine with me. Um, well, let's play both. The Celestis is good, too. You're right. But I think we should just play both because of how many five drops we have. I, th I think ramping makes some amount of sense. Three fives at most. Yeah, that's probably correct, honestly. Well, let's get Soren out of here. I don't think it makes a lot of sense in this deck. Letter of Acceptance. Ooh. Okay. I feel like still we just, we play one of each. I think they're all fine. I think we're going to want to bridge to our fives. For, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I hate Ashiok Nightmare Muse. I've never liked this card. So 
Maybe we get rid of this one too. I think this is my least favorite walker we have here. I just hate that this one like doesn't draw cards and it does like kind of protect itself, but it's not impressive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we still have fourteen walkers. Karn could probably go. Karn, yeah, maybe could go. Basically, all these variants are better than Lantern. Yeah, the only, I mean, the thing that Lantern does do for us is it will give us perfect mana to cast our spells, which could, you know, could matter. Probably won't matter. Our mana will probably be good enough anyway, but is Fairy 5 too cute? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's Fairy 5 is kind of out of place here. Maybe. Doesn't protect itself is the problem. Okay, I could buy that. Alright, I'm going to play another 1 mana removal spell, and I think think it should be you think three mana rocks is too much okay we'll cut the lantern i'm fine with that i guess probably needs fable oh yeah fable probably would make sense that's like a mana rock it's also just an insane magic card yeah you're probably right probably should play fable Kind of funny, it can, I guess it can, clone to it can clone tokens that we make off of walkers, so it's not totally a wash on the, the last side. We could also just like still play Blood Tithe Harvester. But I think I'd rather play another one mana removal spell. Disfigure um, the one mana one that can deal three with spell mastery might just be good enough. Um, impulse. Fiery Impulse. There's no N in that. Gosh dang it. Keyboard. Right, there we go. Fiery Impulse. Okay. Obliterating Bolt would make some amount of sense, I think, too. Obliterating Bolt. Pretty good. Got four sweepers. Yeah, this looks pretty reasonable. Um, I kind of want an obliterating bolt, but other than that, I'm pretty happy for <laughs> a deck of all one ofs. Like, it doesn't look that bad at all. Probably one less planeswalker. You don't like fires of victory? Okay. Well, it's not really there to be a five mana play. It's more of a just like two mana play in this deck, I think. Just another good two mana removal spell. You'd rather have Power Word Kill or Heartless Act or Doom Blade. We'll, we'll do Power Word Kill. Okay. You want one cut. And it's probably another five drop. Of these walkers, Lolf, I guess, is the worst. Could get rid of a four mana walker, too, but I think I like our four mana walkers the Karn and the Chandra. Let me just do this. How does this look spell-wise? Our curve actually looks pretty reasonable now. We've got a nice bell there, nice bell-shaped curve. Six ones, eight twos, 
11 threes, six fours, four fives. Do you think Lolf is better than Ob? Or do you think we can get away with five five drops and I should cut a four? Or should we cut a three? A lot of options. Okay. Obnixil is three. I don't think I want Obnix three, at least game one. It, it might be an okay sideboard card, but. What about Kaya? We're not playing white, Stormy. We're uh, doing Grixis. Yep. But there's definitely an Esper version of this deck, too. Certainly an Esper version. Luxior? What is that? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to look it up now. What in the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Each counter on it. Isn't a plane... So... If you turn a Planeswalker into a creature, can your opponent not attack the Planeswalker? Is that how that works? That is wild. That's kind of funny. Also doesn't lose loyalty when it takes damage. That's absurd. It's actually kind of interesting. Make a three mana seven seven. Yeah, actually, yeah, three mana. Yeah, three mana cure is kind of interesting. Uh, it does the ramp thing too, which is cool. I, don't know, I think I'm pretty happy with where we're at with this right now, to be honest. I think maybe we should just build the mana base from here. This deck ended up being barely blue. That's actually hilarious. Maybe we should have just been Rakdos. I mean, technically, we can still do that. And we can still play Lutri and all these other things. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, it'll give us way better mana. No question about that. I mean, what? We'd lose one, two, three six cards we only lose six cards huh and then we don't really have to play either of these anymore either at that point yeah they definitely can this is so funny i'm just gonna end up being racto super friends that is not where i thought this was gonna go but it it doesn't seem that unreasonable to me. Okay. Well, now I don't really need these anymore either as well. Radiant Flames, I guess we could, like, play... We'll still have Treasures and things like that. I guess I'm just going to play a Blood Tithe Harvester now. Because the card is good. And that's about where we're at with that. 
Um, I think I'm gonna main deck duress. It's only bad against like exactly mono white, and even there you can rip a brave sometimes. I might main deck a despise too. Soren, Soren might come back now. I think five mana Chandra is kind of interesting too. Oh yeah, people will absolutely want to rage quit if they lose to this. I don't disagree with that at all. Nah, this card's not that good. I will bring Sorn back. I'm fine with that. May we do want the Luxior? The Luxior is kind of interesting, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a couple more walkers. We've got to play 10 plus. Oh, Sweltering Suns. Yep, I forgot that was a card. Yep, yep, yep. It's certainly better. All right, we need at least two more Planeswalkers because we're below our, our limit right now. Oh, Valky. Yeah, Valky is actually a really good call. Now that we're Rakdos, I like that a lot. It's probably just good anyway, to be honest, but... Jaya 4. Jaya 4 is okay. We could bring that one back. Is there like... I feel like there's better than that, though. Let's see what else we can... Let's look at all the Chandras. I, Chandra Dress to Kill is interesting because it does ramp us to our fives. Is someone paying me to play this? Nope. Nope. Nobody's paying me nothing. We're just doing it... Doing it for fun. I guess Dress to Kill is really not that bad. It does ramp us to our... Oh, it's going to be hilarious. The people who lose to us are going to be furious. That That's good enough reason to play it all on its own. Hey, you know what? Sign and Blood was good enough when we were playing every other version of Rakdos. Let's just throw it in here, too. Really good, cool thing to copy with Lutri as well. I'm also just going to put Shieldred in here. Why not? No one's going to lose to us. I don't know about that at all. This deck is like, obviously not the most exciting thing ever, but it still has got good cards in it. How did the Planeswalker deck go? Missed it? Oh, we're still building it. We're still building it. Yeah, we're, we're just going to play Rakdos Walkers. We didn't have very many blue cards, so we're just going to have way better mana. Professor Onyx. Uh, yeah, I think if we're going to play a six-mana walker, we should just play Lily Dreadhorde General. I think that's better than Professor. You only think we play 24 lands? I think we want to be 25. We really need to hit our land drops. What does this one do again? Lose one, look at the top three, one of them in your hand. I mean, that is really powerful for sure. Liliana. I think I want Dreadhorde General. do 
something like this. I'm also not even sure we're supposed to be a Fires of Invention deck anymore. Oh yeah, Strangle's great. Good call. Fires of Invention seems terrible now, right? We're not really doing anything impressive with it. Kind of 11 Planeswalkers. Yeah, Strangle is great. We're definitely going to play Strangle. Good call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The loot tree is definitely restricting our, uh, our deck building a little bit. But that's okay. It makes it way more interesting. I'm just going to cut the fires. I think this card's kind of bad here. Roast. Yeah, Roast is interesting, too. Oh, what if we just played Lava Coil? Is Lava Coil better than Roast? Doesn't kill Shieldred, so it's certainly not better, but... I don't know if we need any more one-for-one -one removal. We've got Dreadboar, Power Word, Blood Chief's Thirst, but, like, we're doing pretty good on the one-for-ones. I'm kind of happy with where we're at. Does anybody see a card that they're like, this card really sucks. We should play, we should not play that card. I can't actually, at this point, I'm pretty happy with everything. Can we get up to a big bomb like Invoke? I mean, we could play Invoke. Could certainly play Invoke. Could also play another Walker. Chandra Dressed sucks. Yeah, that, I mean, that is probably the worst card in the deck. It does bridge us to five, but we have other things that bridge us to five, too. Do we have a Shadow's Verdict? We could play Shadow's Verdict. Although we do, we already have four sweepers. Do we need a fifth? Four sweepers is a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. What do you guys think of a swift end? Let's play one more clunky planeswalker that costs four plus. All right, five mana planeswalker. Let's do a five. I, I want a five. We've got enough fours in the deck. I think I want a five. Is it just five mana Lily? We could we could also play Professor Onyx. We could play one of the six. We could just main deck the six mana Chandra. Oh, you know what we should play? Because of all the Lilianas in my deck, we should probably play a Lily's Triumph. We've got an Elder Spell, Stormy. It's at the top here. I'm going to play a Liliana Bess. We'll just have Demonic Tutor, a Tutor in our deck. That's kind of cool. Potentially a double Demonic Tutor if we can protect it. Shadow's Verdict's a really good thing to have in the board, though. I definitely like that. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a Despise in the sideboard. Davriel with all the control. Yeah, Davriel we'll put in the sideboard. I'm into that. Uh, we'll put the discard Liliana on our sideboard, I guess, too. Wake, uh, it's this one, right? Waker of the Dead. Yeah, Waker of the Dead. Uh, yeah, Grasp of Darkness is interesting. I think I would just play Heartless Act, which, speaking of that, we'll, well, we're going to put a Rending Volley in the board. Oops. Rending Volley. Um. Languish. Languish. 
Shadow's Verdict. Six sweepers is plenty. We don't need any more. So that'll cover our sweepers. Um, Graveyard Hate, Go Blank, Hearse. Yeah, that's, yep. Uh, maybe a Graveyard Trespass or two. Go Blank, Hearse. K-Command, yeah, K-Command's good. Wait. Are Phyrexia all for one cards available for use? What is this? Oh. I did not realize we could start playing with Phyrexia all will be one cards yet. Alright. We'll probably start doing that tomorrow after we're done screwing around with this. Well, Shit, should we be playing any of these? This card's kind of awesome. Okay, well, we're going to throw some new cards in our deck. I did not realize this was a thing. Gix's Command is sweet. I don't know if it's particularly good in this deck because we can't really do the rebuy creature mode very well, but... All right, this is probably just better than Liliana Vess. I wonder if we're able to rent these for Mana Traders yet, though. That's a... Probably a good question. Uh, what else hates graveyards? You also play like a ley line of the void. It's kind of garbage to have a one of ley line of the void though, but man, it'll be funny if we ever open it. Noxious Grasp. Yeah, that's probably a good call, actually. I like a Noxious Grasp. That's a, a good call. Um, Ray of Enfeeblement. Yep, that's a good call, too. It's amazing how there are so many good cards that do so many similar things that you can actually do this, and I think our deck will still be, like, okay. Like, I think we could still 4-1 a league with this deck. I really do. None of what Chad is saying is remotely true. You can't rent, open, or play with these cards. All right, fair enough. Thank you, Mac. When will it be available, Mac? Wednesday? Thursday? It's not a huge deal. We we're only going to maybe play that Braska, so. Oh, next week. Okay. More cards in the board for when removal sucks. Ooh, we're going to play one of my favorite cards here. This is a Dykeman, a Dykeman staple right here. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Boom. Bankbuster. Bankbuster should maybe just be in the main, but we have enough, like, ridiculous advantage sources that just sideboard this. We already have a Duress in the main. I'm just main decking Duress. Yeah, we do have a ton of removal, so if we do end up playing against, like, a control deck or something, it's going to be a little awkward for sure. What if we played, like, an Arkwell's Bloodfast? Bloodfast would be absurd against, like, Rakdos and Control. It'd be pretty good, too. I wonder if we just have... Do we just have a little too much removal? Never enough removal. It is Lord Ace, yeah. Uh, but again, that's a new card. We can't play with that one quite yet. Everything should burn one. It's funny. I 
I guess we have six one mana removal spells. Maybe I don't need that many. That's like more than normal Rakdos plays. So what if we actually cut one of our removal spells? I think I'm going to do that and then play one more five mana. We could play Invoke. Is that better than uh, five mana Liliana? I kind of just want to be Liliana Tribal just for the lulls. All right, fine. We'll play the Invoke. Oh, you know what? Lutrian Invoke is not okay. That would be hilarious if we ever get to set that up. I mean, obviously, it's eight mana, but I think, in theory, that could certainly come up in some amount of games. Oh, yeah, Angrath. I forgot about Angrath. Angrath is kind of cool. We play Fiery Impulse over the other one. That, yeah, that is the threatened one, yeah. Is the threatened one. Hmm. Uh, Dragon Party, I wanted, I was going to play that, but that deals damage to all our walkers. We're a walker deck, so pretty awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it... It's definitely better, like, in, you know, in most decks, it's better than Anger of the Gods would be in most loot rebuilds. But because we're, like, so walker-centric, I don't think it's particularly good here. All right, Glint Sleeve Siphoner is probably nonsense. You probably should not play this, but... God, I want to. If I just, like, don't play this Despise... Oh, yeah. Uh, what is the name of that? Thought Distortion. Thought Distortion is kind of cool, yeah. Uh, I think, um, cut down's okay, right? I mean, it, like, kills Thing in the Ice, kills Ledger Shredder, kills, uh, Blood Tithe Harvester, kills Fable, kills, I think it's a little better than, uh, Flame Blast Bolt. I mean, Flame Blast Bolt's just always two damage. It seems kind of loose. You can go to Walkers, but, like, I don't really care. We're, we're going to try the cut down. I, th I think it's okay. It's not great, obviously, but I think with what we're working with... Phoenix Crest, thank you very much. You're a superstar. Also, Phoenix Crest, I'm just curious. Did you use my bag to transport the equipment out of Galactic, or is my bag just still a Galactic? Derp, derp. What's up, dude? You know what we could do, too? We could just not play Dreadhorde General and just put Awakened Inferno in our main deck. I, I don't actually hate that. Just have random uncounterable walker. I think I'm going to do that. They took me out in a body bag. Thought everyone went out that way. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yeah, I, I dude that yeah, the top four thing sounded really crappy, I'm sorry. Oh boy. So one more like card advantage thing would be nice. We've got Argwolves, Bank Buster, Sign and Blood, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. What if you just play like a I was gonna say read the bones. What if you play read the bones? Mac can go ahead and talk about it in chat if he wants to. He got a game loss in top four, which is really all right. Fair enough. <laughs> 
fair enough. Mac, Mac can talk about it later in Discord. <laughs> it's probably a better idea. Um, we're going to play Read the Bones. All right, I think this is going to be the deck, and then we need to build a just normal Rakdos mana base, I think, and uh, we'll be good to go. So kind of cool that Loot Tree doesn't make you play one of lands as well. So we're just going to go literally to normal Rakdos and just put that mana base here. So um, Blood Crypt... Blood Crypt, Four Pathway. One of Urza's Bastion? Doesn't that one proliferate or something crazy? It does, right? Karn's Bastion? That's the proliferate land, right? Um, it's just so... It's so awkward because a colorless land is... We, we are fairly mana intensive. We have a lot of double red, double black, black red. It's almost certainly incorrect, but it is, it is funny. Do we just do it for the lulls or do we try to win? Oh, it's not correct. <laughs> Stormy, all right. <laughs> uh... I'm only going to play one castle in this deck and play a, a Takanuma. Because we have a lot of card advantage through our Planeswalkers and things of that nature. So I don't think we need the second castle nearly as much as normal Rakdos might. You're suggesting for memes alone. Four mana proliferate. God, this card is this card is so bad. There, I. <laughs> oh, I'd be into it if it at least was reasonably costed. Like, it's five mana to proliferate. That's ridiculous. Like, I get it's a, a land, but come on, that's so much mana. To be fair, this card was pretty good and limited when you like, you know, had a deck where it made sense. Five mana was like perfectly reasonable and limited, but. God, it's so expensive. Yeah, we're, we're not playing that card. I'm off it. If it were less mana, I would have done it happily. Yeah, I agree. If we had, like, more things to proliferate, it would be more interesting for sure. What lands am I missing? Haunted Ridge. Duo was missing one of the duels. Okay, Haunted Ridge. Urborg. Um, swamp. Amount of swamps here. Typically, what, three swamps? Then we play the mountain. Yep. Mountain is soaking on. I think if we've learned anything today, if we have good results with this deck, I think all we've learned is that Rakdos is just really freaking good in Pioneer, and you can kind of just do whatever the heck you want. As long as you're playing a pile of good cards, it's just good enough. We'll see if this... I think this deck will be able to win. I really do. We'll see, though. Like, that Bethlehem Reveler deck, we went 4-1 and one with it. Went 9-1 and one with Drakes and 4-1 and one with Bethlehem Reveler Rakdos. Like, 
We'll see what we can do with Super Friends, Rakdos. All right, this deck looks like a, a hoot, hoot and a half. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I have to save this. I think this is where we're at, chat. This is what we're going to do. We're going to export this, save it to Super Friends. Go ahead, put this in Cardboard Live. Change our stream info. Pioneer, red, black, blue tree, super friends. Okay. Yeah, I mean. You know, we're just playing a pile of good cards at the end of the day. Like, even though they're all one ofs, all these cards are like pretty good magic cards. So at the end of the day, you know, it, it'll still probably work out fine. We'll see. It's going to be fun no matter what, though. I'll tell you that much. All right. So, while I do all the trading, it's real quick, give a shout out to our patrons. Thank you all so much for supporting the Swish Gaming Patreon. A dollar a month gets you access to deck lists that myself and teammates are playing at upcoming events. Um, five bucks a month gets you access to uh, articles, sideboard guides, uh, things of that nature for those decks that we're playing at upcoming events. And ten bucks a month gets you access to more exclusive content, such as uh, more video playthroughs and things of that nature. Dewey and I plan to do a couple of those this week, at least one. Uh, so that'll be good. Okay. I'm going to make these trades. And then we will get going. Yeah, well, the way it started, Golem, is Raja was like, let's do a stip where we can only play one of each walker. So then we became a Lutri deck and... I mean, we can still copy things. It's not we we have plenty of spells in our deck. Honestly, we'll be able to copy removal spells. I think we'll be we'll be able to utilize the loot tree just fine. We could have also played a murderous rider in this deck. I think that would have been reasonable. The devil, Angrath's rampage. There were plenty of other things we could have thrown in here, but I'm happy with where we ended up. Bedlam stuff back. I will say, though, just like Raja was saying, Sign of Blood was awesome in that league. Sign and Blood is a really underrated card in Pioneer. I remember when we, we, like I said, we initially played this card in those Orzhov mid-range decks that I played a long time ago, and they were good there. And that was before Shieldred even existed, and it was good. Now it's just like two mana six you some of the times.
yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. That game where we just 12 our our Lotus opponent for four mana was insane. They untapped at 18 and died on turn five. Like, it was really disgusting. We went with double Grazer, by the way. We went kill your Grazer, kill your Grazer, six you, and then 12 you. It's like, that was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. That happened to you in a few games in Explorer. That's pretty. That's pretty gross, Stormy. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go ahead and rent this deck. Clear all upload super friends. Can you imagine if we five owed with this deck? And this made the deck dump. This would be awesome to make the dump with this. All right, we're missing. Lands, I think. Yeah, four lands. Oh, it's three swamp and a mountain. Okay, cool. I don't need basics. That's fine. Rent this. Almost there, chat. Cards are on the way. We'll have to do a trade real quick. And then we'll be good. Just so everybody here knows, I don't know if I won't stream at all tomorrow, but I won't be on at the normal time because I have a doctor's appointment at 1230. But maybe I'll still do a late afternoon stream, like maybe two or something, two o'clock to five, be a shorter stream tomorrow and a later stream. But that might be what we end up doing tomorrow. Okay. Like I said, need to do a trade.
Basics, leave those alone. Thoughtseize, sign of blood, Soren. I feel like I missed a few things. Oh, there we go. There they are. That's what we missed. Okay, should be good. The rest are basics. Come on. Come on, Moto. Don't do this. Not like this. Uh, whatever. Well, we'll make the trade again in a minute or two. One second here, chat. Sometimes technology sucks, what can you say? All right, let's try that again. Okay, should be good. Let's try this again. Trade, full trade binder. Accept. Okay. that these that these this this these perfect go back over here I want these perfect I think I'm missing a card, dang it. Hold on, I don't want to submit this yet. What did I miss? Confused as to what I missed. Oh, there it is, the languish. There we go, submit this. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Okay. Update this. We should be good to go. Super friends. Here we go.
this is going to be a real treat. Real treat. cool thing about this archetype too is we could we could build Lutri super friends in so many ways we could build a grixis we could build an esper we could you know all kinds of nonsense pride is blue white We also obviously don't have to build it with Lutri either, necessarily, so. I'm going to go ahead and just close chat, I think. Reveal Lutri. Uh, yep, looks good enough to me. Good enough to me. They're on a mulligan. That could be helpful. Okay, playing Lotus. Interesting. Well, that's a nice draw. Thought sees you. Let's have the one of Thought sees against Lotus in game one. So nice. So nice. Better lucky than good, as they say. Okay, so if I just take the imp. Oh, Shieldred's pretty cool. I mean, it's not good here at all because we have a kill spell, but. They just take the impulse, I would imagine. Got to be the best card there. Yeah, just take the impulse. Go. Okay. I'm impressed they kept that hand. Is it impressive or is it bad? I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, sign of blood. <laughs> it's pretty, I agree. It was not a very good hand at all. All right, well, land drops aren't terrible. Okay, I'm just going to play it. Uh, I guess I probably just pick up Lutri, actually. Red source, pick up Lutri. Uh, that was actually dumb. Does I have to discard if I pick up Lutri? I guess I have pretty free pitches, though, right? I mean, I can just, like, pitch cut down. Yeah, whatever. We're still going to pick it up. I like being able to just flash it in as a an attacker. Does Impulse or cut down do anything? Yeah, probably not. Cut down, certainly not. Yeah, we're just going to flash in a 3-2, I guess. Uh, I do have a main deck duress. We could draw the main deck duress and then duress him twice. That'd be kind of awesome, but... Gotta be two red mana, so I have to flash this in. Full F6, go ahead. Alright, so I need to do this before. I'm just gonna do it right now. Yep. We're gonna go lol, make idiots.
Ryu. Next turn we can tennis. So he's on a two turn clock now. Opponent seems pretty dead here. Yeah. Okay. Well, opponent should have mulliganed again. Had they done that, who knows? But um, I guess I just play this and fire up Hive. I suppose. Go ahead. Yeah, that was embarrassing for our opponent. Um, okay, Bloodfast, Glint Sleeve, Davriel, Go Blank, Read the Bones, Liliana, uh, Bankbuster, Graveyard Trespasser is fine. It's not good, but it's probably coming in. All right, cards that suck. All of our sweepers. Goodbye, sweepers. Doesn't this make your opponent, each opponent sacks a creature, Planeswalker entered, you get a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, that's pretty bad. Let's get the sweltering and the anger out of here, though. Obliterating Bolt's terrible. Braid's terrible. I mean, we just have, like, so many bad cards, it's comical. Cutdown's terrible. Fire Impulse is terrible. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to keep some bad cards in our deck. It just is the way it is. Yeah, I mean, we have... Yeah, there are just tons of bad cards. It's just... <laughs> we could keep Sweltering Suns as just a three-mana cycle draw a card. We could also bring in Hearse, I guess. Yeah, Strangle's terrible. Sweltering Suns is probably worse than Liliana, but it's actually kind of close. The Oath of Liliana. Oath of Liliana will give me a bunch of 2-2s if I'm playing Walkers. That's like kind of real, but I think that sucks. I just don't think that's good. Let's just cut that. Um, let's try this, I guess. Uh, push is really bad. We should actually... I wonder if knock... Well... Push can randomly get the 1-3 if they put that into play. They probably won't put that into play, though. Oath of Liliana could be better than Push, I guess. Oh, cut down. Yeah, we already cut the cut, 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 the cut down. Hey, this is fine. We've got Dread War, Power of Kill, Triumph. We've still got plenty of ways to deal with... Yeah. Yeah, Oath can present a threat. That is true. Multiple threats, for that matter. Uh, no Hand Hate spell. We do have a Shieldred, but I think I kind of want to try to mulligan to something a little more exciting than this. Yeah, turn four Shieldred's not good enough. We're going to mull that gonna mull this as well okay At some point you got to keep a hand I think uh, I like Liliana And I think I like Soren too. So I think I just get rid of like Bone Crusher Hearse. These are by far the worst cards in my hand, I think. Oh, what a draw. What a draw. Uh, 
giving them an Urborg probably doesn't matter that much. I'd rather maybe hold the Takanuma, so let's just Thought Seize. What you got going on over here? Right, is take the Sylvan Scrawl. Oh, the Behold the Multiverse is actually a problem. God, that that's a really good hand. I I might actually take the Behold because that's so good against the Liliana. I'm gonna take the Behold. I'm not letting him have card quantity here and the selection it's just too much I think you can have a lotus next turn it's annoying but whatever this say go right, impulses and then plays the lotus field obviously you get to then play a fable Not bad. Play this. So we know about those two cards in their hand. They'll probably cycle the Vizier here, I would imagine. Impulsing. Okay. but fine. Okay, at least they can't use it yet. Okay, I'm going to pitch that in the Soren. Actually, no, that's a lie. I'm going to pitch the Siphoner and the Takanuma. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so I guess I I want a Lily of the Veil first. Pitching Soren the Mirthless, and then we can go play second Lily next turn. I just, oh, uh, yeah, I think I like Lily of the Veil here. Don't have to use the treasure that way. And have the option to play Obnixilis next turn if we want. But probably just going to start making my opponent discard two cards a turn and hope that we can win from that position. Really would like another discard effect. That would be ideal. They don't even play the Seiju. It's annoying. Did they pitch it? They've not pitched it, or they have pitched it, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to try and do, obviously, is just go Lily Lily and then just try and nuke their hand. A little bit of a scary spot, for sure, but I think I agree with that. Let's play this.
sure. Sickening. Is that three copies or just two? I guess it's just the second. Okay. Well, that's kind of scary. Four over the pages. Yeah, pretty gross. It's too bad. We had a pretty good hand this game, but just not quite good enough. I don't think, anyway. The matchup seems pretty terrible. Yeah, I mean, when we uh, when we have, you know, so many dead cards and all our things that we're looking for are one-ofs, it's uh, a little awkward. A little awkward. Certainly winnable, but definitely awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it's certainly awkward. But, you know, maybe we'll be able to win. Still, we'll see. Tear asunder. Oh my god. We can actually win this game. This is a winnable game. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Dress you. Uh, well, he's not casting that, so I don't really need to plus. I think I just killed a Shieldred here. That's insane. Okay, kill this. Clone this. Blue tree. Boom, boom. Two treasures. Go. Oh, no! Oh, that sucks. That's pretty rough. That is pretty rough right there. I don't think I was supposed to deal with it, though. That, that really sucks. I think this game is maybe still winnable, though. We do have a Dread Boar and a Power Word kill to kill this, so... It's annoying, but... Probably still beatable. What does this thing even do? Three damage. Okay. Let's go! <laughs> Dude! Oh my god, our draws were good this game, man. Heart of the cards. You are not wrong, Stormy. That is just disgusting how good we drew here. Absolutely sick. Just sick and wrong. They get to kill both my creatures, which obviously sucks, but... Okay. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just going to flash this in. And we're going to plus Lily for a lightning bolt. And if they don't top deck something right now, they just die. Oh, I didn't even mean to copy the Dread Boar, but whatever. That's pretty funny. All right. All right, plus this. Yeah, I mean, we have nine damage on board, so they uh, they need to do something. Okay, that's pretty annoying. world are they thinking about here? Is this a Supreme Verdict or something? I mean, if they have a Verdict, they have to use it. Just thinking about what mana they wanted to float. Oh, that's interesting. But would we have lost a treasure to do that, though? We need the treasure to... Okay, that's insanely tilting that he drew a petition. Now he gets to find poor. So he pours now. Yep. Uh, they lose. Why would you even play the omniscience? I have lethal on the board. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, actually, this is just a funny way to kill them. Yeah, this is hilarious. Deals with the omniscience too. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh my god. Our opponent has got to be livid. I'd be pissed if I were them too. I mean, this is just disgusting. Ryu. Good game, sir. All right, folks, Lutri Rakdos. There it is. Beating Lotus. That is hilarious. That is too funny. All right, let's try to play against creature decks exclusively now. Uh, Baobar, it's going to be just left side of your screen, cardboard live link. Um, the MTG bot link has not been working for us for a bit here. Always just gives us this. I don't know what the deal is with that privacy error, but I don't know if that comes up for you guys too, but that's what comes up when I click that link. We're going to take the play. Ooh, last time they were playing something, they were playing Jund mid-range, and they're currently 3-0 in the league. That's pretty cool. Cardboard Live is still on Bedlam Reveler. Oh, hold on. Did I not change the Cardboard Live? I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Let me look. That's on me, man. That's on me. There we go. It should be up now. Uh, this hand is heinous. We're going to mulligan this. All right, this hand plays. Uh, I don't know how good duress is going to be. So this is... Okay. This is tough. 
This is tough. I think blind I'm going to get rid of duress, but it's close. Duress is so good against so many decks, though. God, that's tough. It's a Jun midrange guy. He's probably playing duress targets. Could get rid of the ritual. But ritual's, like, honestly not that bad. Get rid of the abrade. I'm going to get rid of a braid. I know that's a little a little aggressive, but I think the rest is going to be good. We'll see. Let's find out. Oh, my God. He's on mono red. Okay. Wish you would have kept the braid. Oops. <laughs> uh. deck building portion. Yeah, building this deck was hilarious. Okay. Thought sees you. Okay. I think I just take the bushwhacker. Yeah, I'm just going to take the bushwhacker. Well, the good news is that Ritual is still probably going to line up pretty well. Yeah, I'm going to probably play with Fires My Face. Maybe. Yep. Okay. All right, all right. Go to 11. Interplanar Beacon. Yeah, we could play like a one of Interplanar Beacon. I could buy that. I don't think we want to play too many of those. Okay, that's a good draw, though. Go ahead. Next turn, we just Ritual of Soot the board away. Going to... Pretty low life total here, but... Okay. Well, if you're going to draw anything, drawing a 1-1 one -one is not that bad. Soot. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. It's actually a good draw. Now I can go Chandra, add mana, triumph you. I don't think I want to minus the Chandra and expose it to burn. But um, triumph here, obviously pretty sweet. Yeah, exactly, Golem. It, it's certainly tricky. I definitely agree with that. Go. All right, well. I don't love nor hate our spot right now. I think we're like... We're in a battle right now. Okay. Do I want to just start drawing cards with this Chandra? Probably. Probably just want to start exiling the top. I think that makes sense. Yep, I agree with that. Yeah. Urborg, no. I'm just going to fire up the den. If he wants to use a burn spell here, that's not damage going at my face, and I think I'm happy with that. Okay. Play this. Go. Okay. 
Chandra might just be down ticking there this time. Just want that off the table. Yep. Guess we were close to ultimate there, but I think not ultimating is okay. I'm okay to pun punch for one here. Damage. Yeah. Yeah, I think Chandra Minus there is, like, fine. It's not exciting, but it's not terrible either, you know? Okay, we're going to pitch that. Oath of Liliana. Exile the top, I think. Uh, no. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put him to one. Maybe I'll leave this back as a blocker. Boom. Yeah. In fact, I don't even necessarily need to send this. What if I just send this? That's four damage, puts him to four, and then he's certainly dead. Yeah, no, I, I just figured that out, Stormy. I agree. It's just four. Definitely just four. Yeah, much safer. Very hard to lose from this position. And it's unlikely they have a burn spell, I think, unless it's a Tarkus command. Because they would have killed this den a while ago, I think, unless they were trying to just go face with everything. Okay, it is a Tarkus command. Please don't kill me off the top. All right. Sick. All right, Trespasser in. Honestly, Argyll's Bloodfast flipping over might be real. It's kind of funny. Um, I think Liliana is, like, okay. I think Languish is pretty good. Uh, Obnixilis is horrible. Invoke Despair is horrible. Awaken Inferno is horrible. Ray of Enfeeblement is pretty real. Oh, Blank might actually be, like, acceptable. Bankbuster and Hearse are just cheap plays that could matter. Um, Sign in Blood is pretty terrible. Elder Spell is pretty terrible. I mean, Hearse isn't good, but, like, we have just so many just awful cards that I think I'm probably supposed to bring it in. It also makes Scion of Urza minus better when you make tokens, which is actually real against Mono Red, I think. I think Sark and the Masterless is horrible, too. It does just make a 4-4, four -four, I guess. Five mana make a 4-4. Four -four. Might be okay. Seems kind of bad, though. You know, it does let me win. It does give me a card that can let me win the game. Oh, here. Alright, maybe it is just the Hearse. Hearse might be the worst card in the deck. It's either Hearse or Sark in the Masterless.
this, I guess. Yeah, it can. It just gives us a way to win, too, which definitely matters. So, Oh, the mana here is... I guess the mana's not that bad. No, the mana's not that bad at all. I might not be able to Sworn on time. I am going to keep this, though. Go Thoughtseize on one, Triumph on two. See how that does for us. this holy moly all right i mean i just take the legion loyalist here i think let him have a play with fire you can play with fire in my face on the upkeep if you want it's fine with me he probably does have to do that but Okay, not what he chose to do. Do another land. It's a little scary because now he can do it upkeep and then also play another idiot. A little annoying. Den of the bugbear. Go. Oh, you cannot be serious. That's disgusting, that draw. Oh. Brutal. Um. Well, that's not good. That is not good. Uh. We really need to find, like, a sweltering suns off the top. That's what we need. I am going to triumph either way. May as well do it now. The loyal, I guess I'll give him the option of losing something else. Because they're all going to get haste anyway. Um, it's haste. Those haste. Yeah, we'll just. We'll let him pick. I'm going to do this. Liliana the Last Hope would be really insane, too. That'd be great. Liliana the Veil would be good. Pretty much just a castable. Any castable spell in the entire deck for three or less mana would be great. I'll take all of them. Shucks. Uh, it does let me play a four drop next turn, though, so I guess that's something. So I could, I could pick up Lutri. Could pick up Lutri, and then not play this land. It's probably the best to do it that way. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Pick up Lutri. Your turn. Yeah, just in case we draw like a Blood Chief's Thirst or a Fatal Push, then we can like copy it. All right. Please, no untapped land. Might have missed. Okay, that that's big. That's big. Get a Soren down now. Okay. I think it's Soren here, right? Soren make it 2-3. I think so. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't block. Oh, my God. I forgot about Legion Loyalist. The you. Oh. Oh man, 
That is so dumb of me. So I was supposed to, I think, go Chandra minus on the burning tree. Sure. Yeah. He has Legion right here. His third, we knew he had the Bushwhacker. We knew the Bushwhacker was in his hand. Uh, yeah, if I would have gone Chandra minus, we would have gone to one. Terrible. Just awful playing on my part. Ugh. Stupid. So stupid of me. It's all right. You know, I think I actually... Glint Sleeve is a blocker. Might come in. I'm not into Sarkin. I don't think this is a good card here. I have one more early game to play. Would like to play first. Um, the sand is weird. I think I want to keep it. I'm going to keep it because it has some really messed up cards in it. It might be a bad keep, though. I mean, it, it does just get run over if, if he has, like, a really explosive hand or whatever, but it's hard for me to get rid of the Shieldred just being in my hand like that. It's a good draw, actually. Play this. Go. need a couple lands. If we draw lands, we're good. It doesn't even really matter if they produce red since we drew the ritual. Yep. Untap red source is like perfect because then I can kill a thing and draw a card. Which is certainly ideal, but... Okay. Oh god, that's not what we wanted to see. Yep. Hi. Okay. Get five more. All right, uh, I'm gonna go Liliana plus on Phoenix Chick, probably. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble now. This is not good. Let's go. Yep. Oh, God. Okay, that's terrifying. But we have to get insanely lucky to win from here. I'm 
I almost want to play Soren first before Ritualing, as weird as that is. I guess Soren is worse if he has targeted removal in his deck, though. If he has, like, Lava Coil or Roast, well, Roast wouldn't be good here, but if he has, like, Obliterating Bolt, Lava, I guess if he has Obliterating Bolt, he can hit the Liliana, though. It would just be Obliterating Bolt over Coil. But I can go, like, Soren minus and then plus on a guy. I guess that loses to Legion Loyalist, but I'm probably going to die to Legion Loyalist anyway. There's a Frenzy in play. tough I think this will gain me more life in the long term which seems important to me that is tough it's really tough I think this is the best play I don't know that's what I'm going to go with Yeah, we'll go with Soren. We'll pray. Soren and pray. That's where we're at right now. We need him to hit like multiple lands in a row. It's like the only way I can win, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many tokens? So one thing, one thing I could do is I can go attack. Uh, I could go attack, gain two, cut. Oh no, I can't cut this down. Well, I could plus and then cut it down and then ritual. Yeah, Bjorn, I. Bajorn the Jesus, I think so. Thank you for the follow as well. Yeah, that's got to be right. I mean, it, it definitely seems correct to me. What are other options? Let's just kind of think through everything here. We, we have a lot of time. So... Yeah, I mean, that just makes the most sense, I think. I know. You have an unhealthy obsession with Lutri. That's fair. Yeah, we're, we, uh, it started with a, somebody in chat was saying that they wanted us to play a Walker deck with a stipulation that we could only play one of every Walker. And at that point I said, well, let's just play Lutri, you know? So that's what we're doing. So someone is paying me to play this deck. No, 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 not quite, not quite. Go ahead, opponent. dead right or nope nope not yet he needs another haster to kill me okay still not quite dead this is insane man frenzy in this deck is disgusting
it in Tarkus Command? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, that was annoying. That was really annoying. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that's experimental frenzy for you. They probably play, they're probably playing three to four of it post board. That's probably their Rakdos plan, and that's probably why they're 4 0 in the league. Oh, yeah, Genocide. Uh, that deck is probably not even remotely beatable with Mono Blue. It's a shame we weren't normal Rakdos. I feel like we would tee off on that with normal Rakdos. Those decks just cannot beat a three shielded, four graveyard, or three, three trespasser deck very well at all. Even with Frenzy, it's hard. Like The lack of consistency that our deck has definitely punishes against, you know, against a deck like that for sure. That is true, Stormy. Yeah, that is that is fair. They only had one land in the top seven or whatever. That's fair. That is very true. We deserve to lose. I punted game two, so it is what it is. That's true. There was double burning tree in that pile. Tried asking opponent not to keep casting spells. Maybe they would have complied. That's true. Maybe they would have. Okay. Last deck this guy was playing was Angels. That's true. I did not think of that out. That's a good point. That's a good point. That would have been a good out. Did not think of that. Opponent, please come back. I guess if they don't want to show up and give us a free win, I mean, I would not be opposed. But, all right, we're going to keep it. Some kill spells, got a hand hate spell. Good enough for me. Distress, probably. I don't really know what they're doing yet. Oh, all right. Well, the one of duress, pretty good against this. <laughs> With my Pioneer Commander deck, that is true. Yeah, it is a Pioneer Commander deck, truly. That's not a very good draw, huh? Okay, let's play this. God, our hand is bad against Lotus. Holy smokes. If we can get to Ob Nixilis, there's a shot, I guess. Uh -huh. Okay, I thought he was, if he would have hard cast that, that would have been so gassed, just be able to cut it down, but he did not. Okay, that's pretty rude, man. It's pretty freaking rude of you, opponent. Not a big fan of that. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. That is not great. Sick deck, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, God. Oh, man.
cycle another vizier targeting that, and then they. What? Oh, okay. So let's say, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go one hand. Three unknowns. Okay. Takanumas. Yeah, the card there. I cannot wait to take eight damage off this castle. That is a legit thing that's about to happen, folks. We are about to take eight. The old eight myself draw a card. Amazing. Oh man, fatal push. Great. That's what we wanted. That is what I needed right there. Yikes. Yikes. You would have paid 19 for that. That's hilarious. Speaking of paying 19, I think I'm going to pay... God, paying 10 is just so ridiculous. But I want to hit my land. Oh, none of this. This is just all completely irrelevant. I'm just going to pitch a card. We'll take another 8. <laughs> Run it back, baby. Yeah, it's true. Are gonna run it back. Yeah. Impulse. Okay. I feel very dead. Okay. Uh, this and this, I guess. Probably the worst cards. I'm not. I'm not gonna waste our time. There's no reason to waste everybody's time here. This will be the last match today, by the way, for those watching. And then I'll go ahead and give somebody a raid. Clint Sleeve coming in. Liliana in. All right. Event out. Ritual of Soot out. Anger out. So many bad cards, cut down, fatal push, fire impulse, strangle, bank buster comes in. Did I bring in Hearst last time? I think I did. I can't even remember to be honest with you. We have so many bad cards, it's just like probably fine. Something like this. Just obliterating. What if I bring in, I wonder if Rending, yeah, the Liar, it's just not worth it, I don't think. I'm going to leave this into Cycle, I think. The Elder Spell is kind of interesting, so I could maybe like ultimate a Walker randomly, maybe that's good enough. Let's get, just the, this is so bad, it's just not. Three mana draw card is not good. The Elder Spell could actually come up. Alright, let's try this. I legitimately think I might put my opponent on the play in this matchup just because I'm I'm digging to such specific stuff. Kind of just want the extra card. But losing tempo does suck. Yeah, we'll we'll play first. I don't know. That that one is interesting to me, but getting walkers down quickly could matter, I guess. Alright, well this is This is very good. This is about as good of a this is just like a normal Rakdos hand other than the Elder spell. But not terrible at all. Much better than last game. I mean, that's true. We got rid of most of our horrible cards, so that's something. I wonder if this guy's like double cute or something. 
might be. Okay. Let's go. Next turn we play this. Let's get them under that pressure. Putting the clock on them. Okay. Play this, play this. Davril here is kind of nice, I guess. Um, I think it's going to Davril. Seer step. Well, there's no reason to go blank them yet. We'd go blank them next turn. I think that makes a lot more sense. Get to attack his cards a lot more this way. Go ahead. We are actually playing a game here. I might blood away the Elder Spell, but we'll see. Okay, that's another thing I can eat with Trespasser. This is kind of interesting, although he might be able to just go off here because he does have the Thespian stage, so he can go copy and then hidden stirrings yeah be gross let's go pour over the pages it's so ridiculous uh probably yeah they're not in good shape i'll tell you that much Depends what else he has. He needs a little more, but he might have it, obviously. Okay, well, now he's dead if I get to attack, so that's something. Okay, he's got ultimatum, but he's down to one mana. Okay. See what he gets. I think I'm just give him. They just give him Omniscience and Liar and pray. He can't do anything with these cards right now, so. You put the poor back in your library. If he had, if he had like, anything good in his hand, he probably would have used it already. Could have another ultimatum. I guess. Yeah, there are a lot of things he could have here, but we just need to hope he doesn't. Kind of that simple, and if he does, he does. Uh, yep, that'll do it. That will do it. I 
sure. Petition. All right, that that's good enough for me. That's enough. All right, chat. Thanks everybody for hanging out. It was a lot of fun. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm gonna start probably in the late afternoon. I've got a doctor's appointment at 12:30, so I'm gonna gonna be doing that. Um, but I think I can probably hop on around two o'clock is my hope. So we'll just do a few hours tomorrow. We'll finish probably just finish this league, and then later this week we'll uh, we'll play some.